Hi there, it's your Guelph Realtor here, Crystal Lee Moore, and I'm here to talk to you about how to throw a party without going broke this season. This is the season of having parties and getting together, and with a few simple tips, you can do it without affecting your bank account too, too much. So the first thing, very important, is to set a budget. So you wanna think about everything that it'll cost you, from the food, the invitations, decorations, if there's a gift that you want to give, make sure you have a clear idea so that you don't have to extend over that too, too much. And figure out where you wanna spend most of your money. People are coming to enjoy things with you, so maybe food and decorations are probably the best things to spend money on. And you can decide if people want to drink, you can have them bring their own alcohol, things like that, so that really helps. And choosing a venue. So if you wanna have it at a restaurant, that has its own expenses associated with it, or you can have it even at your home. It really depends, especially at the holiday season, it can be a really good time to do that at home. Creating your guest list. So your budget might decide for you how many people you can invite, but you wanna have quality people there, people that you really enjoy having in your life, in your space. So it's an important thing to do. And also figuring out, will you have kids, will you have adults, things like that. And you can save money by emailing the invitations. So there's a lot of great sites like Eventbrite, and evite things like that and people really they don't mind them at all because then it's not one more piece of paper that they have to handle handle the other thing is to plan your entertainment so there's a lot of things you can do that are inexpensive but really fun you could have a theme party ask everyone to wear different sweaters like ugly christmas sweaters it's been done a few times or you can also do something where you have someone dress as santa and have people bring their kids and you could also do a secret Santa so people can be in charge of what they're going to be exchanging and that's not even a cost you have to incur but you still get to be there for it. Um, the other thing is planning your menu. So people like to get together, break bread, have food, so that's a very important thing. So you can have it catered, that's an expense, but something that you don't have to worry about because then you can just talk to your guests. You can also cook the cook the food yourself. You can look, um, you can cook the entire thing, or you can cook different parts of it, or do a potluck, which is kind of fun. People like to bring some food, and you can save money on drinks by creating like a signature drink, or um, you can ask people to bring their own alcohol, as I said before. Decorating doesn't really have to be that expensive. You can reuse decorations from the past. You can ask people to borrow decorations. As long as you feel festive, then you're pretty good. And you can also save some money by co-hosting with somebody. So if you want to have a great party, they want to have a great party, budget together, put it all in together. You'll have twice as many people. You might even meet some new people. So that would be great. And at the end of the party, if you want to do something for people just to say thank you, but you really don't have a lot more left in the budget, you can send people home with extra food as a thank you, like contain containers, treats, desserts, fun stuff like that. You can also send people home with centerpieces or the decorations, uh, or you can even just take pictures and then have them printed or have a, a printer going and have people have memories that way. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions about fun stuff like this or the Guelph real estate market, I'm always happy to help. So please reach out and I hope you all have a very safe and happy holiday. My name is Krista Lee Moore and I'm your Guelph Realtor.